group. I'll tell you exactly that, that uh, we've had tremendous goodwill. We've had two, three, four, five hundred thousand people at our meeting all through the state. I've been going for three and a half weeks and we've had tremendous support, tremendous goodwill. Never before in my 33 years have we had such a overflowing uh, goodwill and support towards me and the party. And I, I'm sure the folks are yes, George. Mr. Premier, was it a mistake coming here today? No, it wasn't yeah. a mistake. I, uh, I've, I've got all you boys here today giving me very good coverage. For was that the whole idea of it, to get um, no, I didn't even know, coverage? No, I didn't even know you were coming. I hadn't a clue. I didn't think you, <laughs> you were coming. <laughs> That's something new. I, I know you've got a sense or smell for something a little bit unusual, <laughs> and that may have brought you, but I didn't even know that I came to speak here. Have you, you achieved it. anything by talking to the students today? Well, at least I hope they, rec they recognise that uh, we are genuine people, yeah, as they have time to think about it. Though obviously many of these people are, uh, have made up their minds exactly uh, what their line of action or policy is, and you haven't got to be very wide awake to see how uh, they're orientated and they're thinking politically. But that's their right, that's the freedom that we have in this state. But you don't find that anywhere else in the state, other than perhaps here. Would you like to have had more time to answer their question? No, or you, you feel that the, the noise they made him not be able to answer them serves your purpose better? No, we, first of all, started. I knew that before I spoke. But on the other hand, they have a right to say that. Aren't you interested in telling us what role you're playing here today, sir? Tell us what role you're playing here today, sir.